According to the Times, German officials have stated that they are open to theories that the Nord Stream undersea pipeline sabotage was perpetrated by a Western country with the objective of putting the blame on Russia. The claims regarding the US role in the pipeline leak has been growing for a long time without any Western country justifying it. But now things are changing. Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Piyush. Let's begin. The probe carried out by Germany has so far not uncovered any evidence which points to Russia's involvement in the sabotage. The Times quoted a German official saying that Berlin is open to theories that a Western state carried out the bombing with the aim of limiting it on Russia. Earlier, TFI Global explained that even Sweden pointed the finger at Washington for the sabotage. Its security service said US military and CIA sabotaged the pipelines. Now, the sabotage of the Nord Stream pipelines had adverse repercussions on the entire Europe, especially on Germany. The damage resulted in pipelines not being able to supply any gas to Europe as per the Eurasia Group. It must be noted that the US was the only country which forced Germany to hold the certification of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Germany, which was already grappling with skyrocketing inflation, deindustrialization and recession, lost all hope in wake of the sabotage of the pipelines. A helpless Germany then started scrambling for energy all over the world. Eventually, it managed to sign significant energy deals which promised a secure future for Berlin's economy. Germany inked a deal with Senegal on 21st May last year for the exploration and development of its world-class natural gas reserves. Later, on 25th of September 2022, Germany signed an agreement with the United Arab Emirates. The deal covered accelerating energy securities and industrial growth. This was followed by Olaf Scholz signing a 15-year deal with Qatar to purchase 2 million tons of liquid gas in November. The agreement was announced by state-owned Qatar Energy and deliveries will start in 2026. Since Germany's energy supplies are secured now, Scholz is confident that the US will not be able to damage its political, economic and diplomatic interests. Therefore, Germany is now openly claiming that it was the US which was behind the sabotage of the Nord Stream pipelines. Earlier, Berlin was worried that if it openly accused Washington of perpetrating the sabotage, then that will have drastic consequences on its security, economy and sovereignty. We at TFI Global had shown how Germany experienced the taste of disobeying the draconian command of the US. This occurred when Scholz decided to not send any weapons to Ukraine and started prioritizing his country's falling economy. In response, the US deployed the Financial Action Task Force or FATF in order to force Berlin to change its decision. However, now Germany is not concerned about the wrath of the US. Even if the US unleashes its flawed FATF on it, it will have no adverse implication on its economic political and diplomatic interests. It must be noted that Olaf Scholz is not in a helpless and desperate state anymore and most importantly, Germany does not have to rely on the US for financial and energy assistance. Now, even the allies of Washington are claiming that it was Biden who caused the sabotage.